from 2021. This particular uh, demo is called Softwired from a group called Oxygen. It is a four kilobyte intro. Let's see if I let's make sure that it's uh, correct. It is 4,096 bytes. And let's see. This one took fourth place in Revision 2021. So Revision 2021, in it's one of the biggest demo parties in the world, Revision. It's, it's held in Germany every year. In 2021, it was held in April, and it was online because the Germans were still worried about the COVID in 2021. 2022, which I'm going to be showing those demos tomorrow, they actually held it in person, but in 2021, it was online only. And so this was this took fourth place in the intro category. Four kilobytes, four thousand and ninety-six bytes, the whole thing. Oh, wow! Well. This next one is called Abstractica, mm. and it is by a demo group called Na Color. And this was also at, this was written and showed at Revision 2021 in April of 2021 in Germany, online. And this took fourth place in the Amiga demo category. And most of this stuff will run on a regular Amiga 500. You don't need a machine with an accelerator and all this onboard RAM and fancy stuff.
give out shouts to all the other demo groups, right? So, I mean, you watch these demos and like you see certain things over and over again. One thing that's very typical is a scroller where they'll have some text that scrolls and it's typically very hard to read. Right? It's like you have to, oh, it like goes like this and like this and like this. And you have to like figure out where the hell it's going. All right. Are, are there rules when people make these demos and enter in a contest as far as how they create it or, uh, they, or they, they, they just have to be able to play on an Amiga? It has to run on some machine. So typically an Amiga 500 that's stock with like maybe... 512k expansion and 512k of system RAM, and they'll have different categories, right? So they have like 44k, 40k, 64k, like unlimited, and so there's different categories. But other than that, it's it's anything you want to. So the next one uh, is also from Revision 2021. This one took second place in the Amiga demo category. This one is called Fisher Hawk Doctor by Melon. Let's see if I can find it. Melon Fisher Hawk. Richard's gangster and using the CLI. Oh yeah. No work. <laughs> Second
Those figures dancing were very Michael Jackson-like. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking they were cool. cool. Yeah. Yeah. The next one is called Fearless or More by a group called Resistance. And this one earned second place in the combined demo category at Foreign Data 2021, which Foreign Data 2021 took place in Sweden <coughs> in June of 2021. What is the last one? So the last one was fourth place, or no, the last one was second place at Revision 2021. Hmm. This one is second place at Foreign Data 2021. And it is Fearless or More. I'm surprised I don't have to reboot the machine in between running these demos. <coughs> Other times, yeah, it's not, it's, the same same thing. Thing. <laughs> it's not the least bit surprising. Like these, Demos like blow up the machine because it's not. These early machines didn't have protected mode like the later x86 CPUs, where every process was totally protected by the operating system against everything else. Right on the Amiga, one process could just like trash the entire computer, and there's nothing anybody could do about it. Direct like, memory access. Yeah, it would just trash everything. Full so access to the then, hardware. Yeah, it would just have full access to the hardware and change anything it wanted to. So a lot of times it will get into a state where uh, it's not correct anymore. Have you attended any live demo? Uh, I have not. Like they don't have them in the U.S. It's <laughs> like a European thing. Did they have that one in Pasadena? I think and Steve's they, been there, right? Steve, you've been to that. You haven't been there? There's one in Pasadena. I haven't been able to go, but there's like a there's one they do. Uh, several years ago, they used to have a, a demo party in Ohio called Nauticon, huh. but that died after three or four years. I see. I've been to a few hot parties in uh, Boston, but I don't think they're doing it. It's definitely not as popular as it is in Europe. It's, it's a yeah. thing in Europe. <laughs> the Black Magic guys, those are one they acquired from the mm -hmm. Those are the guys that are this when they were the teens. <laughs> they started with this kind of stuff. Yeah. And then they became visual effects. Rotary. Fearless or More by Resistance. Oh, that's the second place. 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 Second I like that's so cool. It goes behind it. It's like a Commodore 64 text screen, right? Uh huh. The logo on the top. Oh, that's actually the Is that actually the code for that bounce? Maybe. Well, it may be the very, very beginning. Yeah, machine language. It's probably a thousand lines of code, but that may be the first 20 lines.
don't think it's going to do anything. <laughs> 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 did, it, did it die or? Oh, you just reset it? It's like the gong show. Bong. <laughs> 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 So that one second place as a combined demo. Twenty twenty one. So this penultimate demo is called Planet Disco Balls. And it is by Planet Jazz. So this one won first place in the 64 kilobyte Amiga intro category at Revision 2021, which is the online uh, competition in Germany, 64K. Disco Balls. 64 kilobytes. <laughs> Even though they're German, they're writing in English. Okay. So this was in April 2021, they were still online. The next demo took first place in the wild demo category at Adwood's Summer Open Air, which was also in Germany, but it was in August. And so in April, <laughs> they were still online in 2021. In August, they actually got together not inside, but in an open air, in an outside environment. So I think in Europe, you know, it took longer 
for people to be okay with getting together again, you yeah. know, in, in person. I think Re Revision 23 was this week, wasn't it? I saw a bunch of videos. Mm. Was it? Yeah. 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 yeah, I haven't watched them yet. But it's but usually, it's yeah, it's usually in April, so this would have been the time. So mm. that was, that was Planet Disco Balls. The next one is called Wolf Lava. By yeah, I just, Electronic uh, Nights. I just remember that Juan Sanchez is trying to put together a SoCal demo scene in October, mm. like an mm. event. Okay. It's called the SoCal yeah. demo scene. I just remember right? that. Yeah. Mm. He put out a video wanting submissions uh -huh. for an event in October. Mm. Yeah. And um, I, I, if you just look up on YouTube, there's a, like a whole video. About yep. It, so. Steve, do you know what weekend that'll be? I don't. He hasn't set the date yet, but it's going to oh, be okay. October. Hopefully it won't interfere with Amy West, Amy West up in Sacramento. Um, I'll put that out to, the, to him, so maybe he'll work, okay. around, yeah. work around that. Yeah, so again, this one took first place by the Electronic Knights in the Atwoods Summer Open Air competition in Germany. <laughs> How many K is this one? This one, it's big. It's not limited, so I don't know if it's a megabyte, half a megabyte.
Probably the third part. Yeah. I'm watching, I'm watching the demos on the CRT. I'm just so used to looking at everything in my Vega on the 13 inch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's just so refreshing to see full, full size the Vega monitor. Yeah. What size is this monitor? This oh. is a 20 inch or a 21 inch? Probably 21 inch. OptiQuest. Are you, is that 15 kilohertz? Or is that 31? It's, this, the Amiga 3000 is the only one that has an yeah. internal scan doubler, Karen chip. Oh, okay. And so this is a 31, 31 killer. It's the VGA operation. Yeah, really yeah. And so, yeah, I somehow, I don't understand how this happened, but I picked this monitor up of some dude on Craigslist like four or five years ago, $15. Oh, wow. Yeah. wow. So it's a 21 inch VGA yeah. monitor. I, I just, I just out of <laughs> You're just getting rid of it, right? <laughs> Effort. And I just got lucky that I picked it up at that time. How much did it cost to list it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to clean it. it. So that's it. That, those are the 2021 demos. That right. run. Yeah. 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 That was really cool. Tomorrow I'll be showing 2022 demos. And on the other side of my table, yeah. you can talk to an artificially intelligent computer through a Commodore 128. Oh, nice. Oh, which which one? Yeah. Which artificial? Right over there. Chat, Chat GPT. GPT. Chat GPT. Oh, okay. Yeah. Awesome. My so brother, uh, questions, uh, guys? Yeah, actually, uh, what does it take to get some of those demos on my 1000? Oh, is that Where am I? Are they in uh, floppy format? What yeah, so I just press download press everything. I get it. There's a website called Puet, P O U E T. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing it because it's French. Puet.net. And I, it's got every, every, every demo, demo production. Every, system. <laughs> every demo ever production. I download all of the best ones. And then I copy it, because this guy has an XSurf 100, I copy it over a network from uh -huh. the laptop to here. And then I just run them one at a time, and probably like 30% of them run, and 70% of them don't what, run. What format are they? Like, they're executable yeah. or zip or oh, LHA. So, okay. so they're not, they're <laughs> right, not, so you unzip or you unarchive. Like they're not disk images. A lot of them are, and I'll mm -hmm. use uh, the ADF, <laughs> what's it called, TS. TS2, TS GUI, and I'll copy them onto Floppy. Like one of them will only run from Floppy. So oh, tomorrow, interesting. I'm showing the Electronic Knights Transhuman, which will only run on Floppy. Mm. But the ones that are on Floppy, usually they'll have an executable and a Floppy image. You can just run the executable, or I'll make a Floppy because a lot of them are designed at the party to, to just go up. into an Amiga 500 and run. So I'll <laughs> copy the image onto the floppy, then if it runs, I'll copy the executable off of the floppy onto the hard drive, and if it still runs there, I'll just run it off the hard drive. But if it only runs on the floppy, then I'll have it on the disk. Are these, uh, I'm sure they're mostly PAL, right? Yes, that's why this guy is 50, kilo, 50 hertz. Oh, okay. Right, if it didn't run on, at 50 hertz, like half of these wouldn't work. And that's a PAL compatible machine? The, I mean, all of the Amigas are, the are PAL compatible. Oh, okay. If the display is PAL compatible. Interesting. Because it'll put the hardware into 50 hertz mode when it starts. And either the monitor, monitor will handle it or it'll just say out of range. And it'll automatically recognize the PAL program? Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> and so, and the, like, like the, a PAL, like, can't you, the, the way the DMA works, you can literally like run a PAL screen and scroll it halfway down and have a PAL like screen halfway scroll down with a non-PAL um, screen in the yeah, background. Yeah, you can put it into the PAL mode by running the, the PAL monitor. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Putting it into that mode. Yeah. yeah. For some reason that I've not been able to understand, a lot of times if you run PAL demos or games, like the bottom is cut off and there's nothing you can do about it. Like I've never been able to figure out how to like retrieve the bottom like quarter of the screen. That's is that, is that why that happens? Yeah. Where, where, 
Okay. Yeah. That makes sense now. Because I was running a couple of demos on 4,000. A lot of times. Like, it's why is it shifted down? I it's all, why. yeah, it's like the bottom quarter is gone and like there's nothing you can do about it. I mm. have no idea that was a problem. Yeah. Okay. I thought it was something. Okay, cool. Sorry. Uh, could you repeat that website again? Because I forgot it again. Was it the, uh, the website, the French website? Pouet. P O U E T dot net. Pouet. Pouet. Yep. Hello. Pouet, monsieur. Yep. Pouet. That's right. If you just Google awesome, demo scene, it'll like, come up. All yeah. the prods. They're called productions. Prods. Oh, that, they don't call them demos their, anymore? Yep. The prods. Because the there's, there's demos and intros and wild and like drums. all these different uh, categories. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 40K and 64K right. and all these different if, things. If you you got to see the modern day 4K demos. Like on modern PCs, they're insane. On PCs, they're insane. They're like beyond insane. Really? Yeah, you wouldn't believe it. If they're 4K 4 kilobytes. Demo. Yeah. And it's it just Open it's just GL, instructing the GPU X. to just draw things, and you're just yeah. oh, blown is that away. the the I saw I think I saw a roller coaster one that drew like a real time yeah um, roller coaster was drawing in real yeah. time. But it's all cheating. Oh, if you're not directly <laughs> hitting the hardware, it's bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> like, Direct X yeah. like, that doesn't count. That's yeah. I agree. I agree. OpenGL that doesn't count. <laughs> like it's running on top of a million lines of code. Right. Yeah. Right? Unless yeah. you're writing yeah. the code that's running, that's the only thing yeah. that's legit. Bare metal. Bare really metal or bust. If they programmed as efficiently as they did for these demos on modern computers, what can they do? Can you imagine? Yeah, uh, I remember but there's that. a ton of media that comes along. Like, you look at big modern games, and okay, you get a game for your Switch or your PlayStation, and maybe, you know, it's 500 megabytes or a gigabyte. Mm -hmm. It's video and textures and audio, and it's not... Everything you know, was generated in the Amiga. Right. Terribly inefficient, but it's just the amount of media yeah. that's there is humongous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and on the Amiga world, everything was generated on the fly. Yeah. There wasn't wasn't sampled music. It was music composed. Right? Yeah. And the system. Well, they were very it. small samples, yeah. right? And then it's and right. tracked it's, out. Yeah. But it was very well thought of back then. It's efficient. Yeah. yeah. Just like everything for all these computers was really efficient. And if you look at like modern software engineering, it was bloated. It's bloated. Yeah. Really. Yeah. 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 It's yeah, running on top of a million lines of code. You write a you run, you know, Discord or some application and it's like bundled with Chrome and like Chrome is like <laughs> three hundred <laughs> megabytes. Right? It's, it's it's not a million lines of code, it's like ten million lines of code. <laughs> yeah. I remember the first time I realized that was when I got my first like Windows phone back in the day. Mm -hmm. I was like, the office the Word version that came on the phone had every feature Every feature. Because it was the full application. That, oh, that yeah. the full application had, yeah. you know, minus it didn't have, you know, the clip art and all that stuff. But yeah. It, mm -hmm. Every feature, and it was a phone back in the 90s. Yeah. And the other one was one gigabyte CD install. And you were like, what the fuck? <laughs> You're the same Why company. You yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we made one that fits on a phone. Right. And the other one takes an hour to install on yeah. the feed. It probably was a gigabyte on the phone, too. No doubt. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> right. 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 Yeah. It was burned in the wrong. True. My brother, he's a programmer. Um, and I, I tell him, it, not everybody is a programmer. And usually, most people just have oh, five yeah. minutes to get in and out of their, their software, do what they need to do, and then move on with what they're doing. Um, so please, when, when you program, think of the little guy. <laughs> think of the little guy. I know this is, this is your job eight hours a day, or if you're working from home, right. like you're but he says, well, they're, they're pushed to add new features rather than fix old stuff and make it more efficient. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But so I, I try to put there, just remember when, you know, K-I-S-S, -S, right? Yeah. When you're programming, sure. it, that's possible. Well, I, I have a, um, my time clock at work, I'm a, you know, most of us are clock punchers there. You know, and it's buried deep within the menus of a program that has to be loaded from an external server and it takes five minutes just to load the time clock. And it's like, well, yep. you wait a minute. Exactly, yeah. It's and it's not your fault, right? And sometimes it doesn't even It's the HR software. Yeah. It's a right. and Ultra Pro. <laughs> you ever use that? You know, Ultra Pro. Yeah, we use it. KG. KG is horrible. Yeah. You have yeah, to it find took forever for them to fix it. We already used two time cards at the same time. Uh -huh. I just want to just dedicate the push on the wall. Demo. Yeah. It's honestly the best Commodore demo. Probably one of the best top five Commodore demos I've ever seen. Yeah. What they've achieved 
in that you can head you demo and it's all an ambush. Yeah. It's short of punch clock. Stunning. Yeah. Absolutely stunning. And it runs up like six K for you there. Yep. Pet yeah. or something. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's just, yeah. Yeah. And it's all pets yeah. up. And it's I just, just did a, a demo party. Oh, yeah. That I made, that I put together for a bunch of just friends and neighbors, like in 2016. And I found a lot of the Commodore 64 demos were as impressive, if not more impressive, than the Amiga demos. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that. Because they were, like, the hardware was so much weaker, right? And it's like, they did so much more. And it's really, like, the whole thing with the demo, it's not just about like doing the most technically impressive thing, it's about telling a story, right? And conveying a story and conveying emotion. Yeah. And so, yeah, there's yeah. really impressive things. I'm going to, I find it tomorrow, I'm going to find the link for, for the Back to Pet. Yep, the Back phone. to Pet. It's just, and and it's the thing about story. the Commodore is a lot of them will only run on emulators or they will only run on like one particular German dude's 1541 drive. Because none of the other ones will work correctly. Yeah, because he, he wrote it on that machine. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. If, it, if it like if the misses, floppy drive misses a beat. If it fails CRC like one time reading the track, <laughs> it's dead. That's it. The heartbeat yeah. that his floppy had was exactly <laughs> what oh. drove that demo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, you're right. The, the Commodore. 64C, uh, I'm more into the There's some really, really amazing demos. My brother's 64. Yeah. They are really impressive. Yeah. They are really, really impressive. They figured out, you know, early on that playing with the chip's frequencies, they can get motion and movement that is above and beyond coding. And yeah. so they, they, they figured out that you can use frequencies to move things around as opposed to just, you know, but the thing is, you got to have a PAL C64. Yeah. If you have an NTSC, you're not going to be able to view like 80% of those demos. The Commodore Los Angeles Super Show.